What's a second cousin versus a first cousin once removed? Families can be a little complicated, relatively speaking. And relationships between cousins can be especially tricky to figure out. What's the difference between a first cousin and a second cousin? And what the heck is a cousin once removed? Degrees of cousinhood, first cousins, second cousins, all describe the number of generations that separate you and your cousin from your closest common ancestor. Let's start with your first cousin. You're from different parents, but the two of you share a grandparent. You're both one generation away from a shared ancestor and therefore are first cousins. For a second cousin, you would have to go back two generations to a great grandparent to find your shared ancestor. You share a great grandparent, but not a grandparent. Two generations, second cousins, and so on and so on. The term removed refers to the number of generations between cousins themselves, though the closest common ancestor is still the same. For example, your mother's first cousin. Your closest common ancestor is your grandparents, but there's a gap of one generation between the two of you, making them your first cousin once removed. The child of your second cousin would be your second cousin once removed. And the grandchild of your first cousin would be your first cousin twice removed. Cousin connections, just one of life's little mysteries. If you'd like more life's little mysteries, check out these videos and read even more on lifescience.com.